Hi, I want to show you how to calculate the pH of, the buff, of a buffer. So this is going to be information you're already given. Um, you're not told, hey, here's the pH, make the buffer I want. You're told, we've mixed this together, um, and I want you to um, tell me what the pH of the buffer is, okay? So it's when you're looking for the pH, not, oh, here's the pH, make the buffer, okay? There's a distinction. If you're looking for that video, um, please go to the acid base playlist and um, it will say, let's see, I've got to remember what that's called. It is um, how to make a buffer. So watch that video, how to make a buffer. This is find the pH of buffer. Now really quick, I want to tell you, um, as I've graded thousands, not joking, literally thousands of students' tests, um, whenever it comes to buffer, right away, their brain goes to titration. And they'll start thinking, okay, let's do a titration curve, and 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 they're trying to to incorporate some sort of titration. Now, yes, in titration there is an entire buffer range, and yes, with titrations we can do calculations for buffers. But there will be some questions that is just straight up buffer. It's not a titration. You're just given information about a buffer. So be careful when you read a buffer question. Distinguish: Are we titrating, or is this just a buffer that I'm given? So be careful. Common mistake, and like I said i have graded thousands of tests and and seen this mistake so here we have it you are told that you're going to mix um, the sodium dihydrogen phosphate 10 grams of that with a sodium hydrogen phosphate and you have eight grams of that and it wants to know what's the ph of the buffer so no titration in this i'm just going to take let's say they want 500 mils I'm just going to take my 500 mils weigh out 10 grams of this eight grams of this drop it in there and i want to know what's the pH of this buffer, okay? No titration. We're just making a straight up buffer and they're telling us exactly how to make it. So what you have to do is go to Henderson Hasselbach. I know when you first look at this, you're like, oh, what do I do? Henderson Hasselbach will walk you through the process. Actually, let me get another color pen. Um, talking with my hands there, made all the ink run to the bottom. pH equals pKa plus the log of conjugate base over the acid. So if I want pH, I need pKa, and then either the molarity or moles for the conjugate base and the acid. Well, the pKa for our acid right here, which is the dihydrogen phosphate, um, is 7.21. And remember, I just got that by looking at the Ka value, which is 6.2 times 10 to the minus eight, and I did negative log. You can watch other videos on the acid base equilibrium playlist if you need help with that. Um, so I just plug in one, two, three pieces of information and we can find the pH of this buffer. Um, now I'm given grams and I think this is actually the hardest way to do it. Um, so that's why I'm doing this problem. You could be given problems that are easier and I'll show you an example of that. Here's the deal. On Henderson Hasselbach, you can either use moles or you can use molarity for conjugate base and acid. Um, I try to use moles. I think it's a little bit easier. So this actually won't be bad at all. All I have to do is convert both of these to moles and then I'll have my three pieces of information. So again, remember on this, you can either use moles or you can use molarity. And the reason why you can use molarity is these will have the same volume, the liters cancel, um, or excuse me, you use molarity because that's what we do in everything in equilibrium. You can use moles because these are in the same volume and the liters cancel. So moles or molarity. All right, let's go ahead and convert to moles. So I've already calculated uh, the molar masses. The sodium dihydrogen phosphate, its molar mass is 119.98 grams for every one mole. So if we divide that, we are going to get 0 0.0833. Oh, actually, I wanna show you another step on this. And this also will trip up students. So this is grams of the sodium hydrogen phosphate, okay? Now notice this, one mole of sodium hydrogen phosphate contains, oh, check it out, one mole of dihydrogen phosphate, and that's what we want, um, because that's a one to one to one ratio. Um, I can go straight from, in essence, um, my molar mass to the moles of this dihydrogen phosphate. Um, so when we do that, we get 0 0.0833 moles of the acid, the dihydrogen phosphate. Boom, there we have it. And be careful when you're doing molar mass, students will say, well, Mrs. Lop, do I have to include the sodium? Yes, because that's what you got weighed out. All right, 
Now we're going to find the moles of just the hydrogen phosphate in this uh, sodium hydrogen phosphate. The molar mass on this is 141.96 grams for every one mole of, notice, sodium, oops, sorry, put my subscript in the wrong spot, the sodium hydrogen phosphate. And then we can walk this same bridge, one mole of the sodium hydrogen phosphate contains one mole of the hydrogen phosphate ion. And that is going to give us 0 0.0564 moles of the hydrogen phosphate. Okay, now remember, this is the acid, and this is the conjugate base right there, because the acid is going to donate, the base is going to accept. Now I can just plug everything into henderson hasselbach and find pH. pH equals the pKa was a 7.21. Remember, I just did negative log of the Ka um, plus log of came okay, a conjugate base right here, 0 0.0564 divided by 0 0.0833. Now, before we do the calculation, I want to press you. Notice I have more acid than base. So predict, is the pH going to be greater than or less than 7.21? Well, if I have more acid, that's going to decrease the pH. So this, I predict it's less than 7.21. Um, and when you take the log of a fraction, it's always a negative. So if we take this log, um, it is going to give us, just so you know, this number right here is 0.677, it's less than one. Take the log, it's negative 0.169. Um, and I add that to the 7.21, which gives me a pH of 7.04. Awesome. So there's the pH of that buffer, 7.04. Um, so that was a fair amount of work. Here's another way that you're going to be given buffer problems where it's just a straight up buffer. You're not doing any titration. You'll be given molarities. <clears throat> so I want you to pretend that um, we are given a molarity of this dihydrogen phosphate of 0.05 molar and that the hydrogen phosphate molarity, let's pretend is 0.1 molar. Okay, so this is what you're given. They're going to say, hey, you have 500 mils. Just so you know, inside this solution, the molarity of dihydrogen phosphate is 0.05. The uh, molarity of the hydrogen phosphate is 0.1. What's the pH? Easy, easy, easy. We have molarities. Woo! Given to us. Just plug it into henderson hasselbach So pH equals the pKa, which is at 7.21, plus the log of conjugate base, 0.1, divided by conjugate acid, 0.05. Again, I want to press you. Predict, without doing any math, um, I have more conjugate base than acid, so is the pH going to be greater or less than 7.21? Well, if I have more base, I predict it's higher. It's going to be a higher pH. Um, so divide this, it's 2. The log of 2 is 0 0.301 plus 7.21, so the pH is 7.51. Yep, it's greater. It's greater. Uh, so easy. You will see this on a multiple choice question. Find the pH um, and you'll be given molarities. Plug it into Henderson-Hasselbach. Good to go. All right, you're doing great. Good work and have a wonderful day. Thank you.